guys, so I want to weigh in on something. It may seem old hat by now, but uh, uh, a week or so ago, uh, Marvel launched a new a uh, new series of Captain America. You know, with Steve Rogers back in the role, but there's been a bit of controversy because. At the end of the issue, it's revealed that Rogers was, uh, was and has always been a Hydra agent. And that stirred up, uh, <laughs> stirred up a bit of a hornet's nest. And where it fall, where I fall on that is that, you know, I'm of the mindset that that's a very stupid idea, if I may be blunt. But after, you know, stewing it over uh, for a while, I came, you know, sort of a epiphany, you know, realization, whatever you want to call it, that, you know, yeah, I'm mad, but if I just, you know, angrily voice this opinion, you know, it just doesn't seem like something, you know, something that Captain America would approve of, or Jack Kirby, Joe Simon would approve of, because I feel that while he fights when a fight needs to... Because... When Captain America fights, you know, actual fisticuffs and stuff, you know, he does it whenever it's necessary. But I don't feel like, you know, it's necessary to go fully violent on this. I know it seems kind of silly, ridiculous that, you know, anyone would consider going that length over this, but... With it, but then again, it's Captain America, someone who has been a part of popular culture and who has influenced so many kids and people for the better half of a century, almost. So I've been thinking on it, and I thought. Well, well, what? Um, so I thought on it, and I, on thinking on it, and after thinking on it for a while, I, it, a question came to mind, one that uh, set me on this path. And that question was, what does Captain America mean to me? And then I thought about it, and that question just kept circling around in my head, and when I thought on it, my answer would have to be that he symbolizes hope, freedom, liberty, pretty much the cliche stuff, but, you know, that's just kind of the impact this character has, because throughout the history, Marvel character, pretty much any Marvel character that confronts Captain America, you can pretty much guarantee that they respect him, even his enemies. At some level, even characters like Deadpool, Deadpool, respect Captain America, look up to Captain America. That's the kind of person he is, that he can inspire good in people like, like Deadpool. And that's what I've always respected about him, what I've always loved about him. Because I'm not the biggest Captain America fan, but I still respect him. I still look up to him. So, I guess what Captain America means to me is 
hope a, a shining example of what we can be. Not just what America can be, what we can be. So, after thinking on this question for so long, I decided to do a little... Ex not experiment, uh, just a little project, you know, because so much negativity has been stirred up by this, and I feel that's not what Cap would want. That's not what Jack Kirby or Joe Simon would want. They wouldn't want violence. They, w they would want a good example for others to be led by, much like Cap himself. So, I decided to, this past weekend, at a little, just a little Memorial Day barbecue get-together thing, that I would ask a few people that same question, what does Captain America mean to you? In order to bring about some positive positivity, some bring some good in this situation, because I... I don't think another angry voice needs to be thrown into the ring here. I, I feel that what Cap would want was that we remember why we looked up to him, why we bonded with him, why we aspire to be like him. To just show everyone why this character means so much to us and why this decision of story making was just overall a bad idea. And I feel like this is what he would want me to do. Captain America and Jack Kirby and Joe Simon. I feel that they would want me to try and find positivity in why people are reacting this way why, you know, they feel so strongly about this change of character. And hopefully that'll show Marvel, whoever was in charge, whoever really was in charge of this, why it was a bad idea. And possibly help everyone move forward with it. So, I guess all that's left now is just to sit back and hear what some people have to say on what Captain America means to them. So, what does Captain America mean to you? Captain America, to me, has always stood for everything that is good and right in the world. He may not be perfect, but he does try to do the right thing no matter what happens. Um, he also has kind of given me hope that maybe humanity can be good. So, that's just kind of what he means to me. What does Captain America mean to you? When I was a kid, I wanted to do one thing, and that was be a superhero. Um, I spent most of my life trying to be a leader, trying to be a martial arts, trying to be a martial arts teacher, because it got me the closest to being like Captain America. I've done everything I could to be involved in human rights stuff, because I think that's what you would do. He's a major inspiration, you know, going all the way back, you know, several generations now to, you know, my grandmother who read the comics during the war, to me now, and, you know, a bunch of kids younger than me that may only be exposed to him through the movies or whatever, but. So Captain America means inspiration, leadership and in figuring out how to be the best you can be. What does Captain America mean to you? Captain America means that even though America falls short sometimes of its goals, it's still going to keep trying. It's still going to keep trying to do the things that are right. And I think that the new idea of him having worked for Hydra, which are Nazis, there's not a way around that is a slap in the face to every veteran who's ever lived. 
And Captain America came along at a time when America needed something to bolster it, something to stand behind together as a representation of what America was supposed to be about. Not necessarily how it was, but the ideal of how it needed to be. And it's not fair and it's not okay what they've done. And I'm sure that they've got some big ridiculous way that they're going to fix it and make everything magically turn back okay, but it's not. I, I'm very against this idea of him being a Nazi in an alternate universe, and this one through some weird switch of reality. It's not okay. And it's messing with something that brings a lot of hope to a lot of people. And I think they've done a really good job making him more appropriate for times now, but he's still at heart the same guy. And he has an element of Americana, of classic Americana, and the, the whole Norman Rockwell, 1950s, everything's okay, even though he predates that. It's still that type of sentimentality. But there's an aspect to it that's not just everything is hunky-dory, but you have to work for it, and you get out of life what you put into it. Because, yes, he was given his powers through the super soldier serum, but he also trains, he works, he constantly tries to make himself better. If he loses a battle or falls down, he gets up again and goes back to training, and that is what America is about, and that's what Captain America means to me. What does Captain America mean to you? Captain America means to me is hope. Because even though he's a fictional character, he actually deals with a lot of real life situations and and how he handles it. And and as a friend of mine said, he's always trying to do the right thing, even though it might not look like the right thing. So that's pretty much what he stands for me. He gives me hope that we can better ourselves and that we can push forward and never give up. What does Captain America mean to you? Probably the actual good in the U.S. because there's so much negativity and kind of bad thoughts in the U.S. That it's kind of what the actual dream is, you know, believing in good stuff and, you know, that freedom and also, you know, acceptance because I've seen a lot more of tolerance and acceptance in Captain America's beliefs and the way he's been presented, you know. So kind of accepting everybody instead of, you know, kind of the negative beliefs some people have taken in recent years. So feeling like, you know, everyone belongs in America and belongs in the dream.